It's my country, 107.3. Well, good Friday to you, Kevin McCoy. Got a very special guest on the phone lines here. Uh, Eddie Montgomery, how you doing, sir? Oh, I'm doing awesome, brother. Thank you. Got to sit on my hands keep waving, everybody. How you doing this morning? Boy, we're doing great. I tell you what, man, we appreciate you taking a little time this morning. Uh, big day today, uh, long awaited. I guess you got 12 new songs on this new record. Here's to you. And um, obviously a bittersweet day. Uh, all of us have a heavy heart with the loss of Troy, but uh, it's bitter and sweet, wouldn't you say, Eddie? The thing about it is, you know, this is our 20th anniversary, but me and T have been together over 30 years. Right. So, uh, you know, I was always used to looking to my left. Sure. So after that day, man, I kind of freaked out. And the thing about it is, the Here's to You CD, we just had got that CD finished two days before that accident. Man. So that's very weird. Well, I mean, just about that, just how that come about. But it was uh, two uh, two days before that, uh, we got the CD finished. And, uh, you know, and I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was lost. Sure. I was just thinking, I'm like, you know, and I, one thing I do want to say, uh, of course, we don't call nobody fans. We call them friends. And I tell you what, man, I, I want to thank all of our friends out there for all the cards, the letters, and everything, man, uh, that they sent to us, and I uh, appreciate it to death. And, uh, you know, they got to asking, you know, uh, well, what's going to happen now? What's going to go on here? And I didn't really know, and then I remembered a conversation me and T-Roy had had about, uh, you know, a few years back, and I ain't going to lie about it, over a few drinks, and we going <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, if either one of us ever go down, we want the other one, man, to make sure that they keep the Montgomery Gentry you know, or MG uh, brand going. Sure, yeah. And so, uh, you know, I, after thinking about that, I called up our guys uh, in the band. And, uh, of course, you know, most of them have been with us about 20 years. And so, uh, or over 20 years, actually. Yeah. And uh, I was like, you know what? T-Roy would be madder than hell, man, if we didn't do this. And he'd kick our butts, man. So uh, I was like, all right, we're going to release the CD just like we said we was in February. And we're going to go out on, we're going to go out on tour. So it's like this next chapter clearly dedicated to Troy. And, uh, you know, you're speaking about uh, your friends and the fans of Montgomery Gentry and country music. And uh, you had a beautiful note that you left on your uh, website there about the single, the lead single, Better Me. And, man, what a great song. And what does that mean to you guys? Oh, I'm telling you, you know, and, uh, I, I'll tell you another spooky thing, man. And I, I keep bringing stuff up, but a uh, spooky thing, uh, you know, after all these years, you know, me, whether me and T-Roy was listening to songs together or he was out somewhere and somebody would get, give him a song to listen to or, you know, and he'd go like, well, he'd tell him, it's like, hey, man, that's a Montgomery Gentry song, but I hear the Eddie singing that. And I'd hear, I might hear one and go, hey, you know what? That's an MG tune, man, but I, I hear T-Roy singing that. And after we heard that song, uh, he'd come up to me, man, and he was like, uh, Eddie, I really, really want to sing this song. And I didn't think much about it at the time, and now it's kind of spooky. You know, it's just, uh, it's kind of, it freaks me out. It was just kind of meant to be, you know, the timing of this and uh, the, the fact that this song was not only perfect for him to sing, but the content and what he was singing about in that song. Ah, uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, uh, we both grew up over a little bit over the years. Uh, you know, uh, anybody that's been to our shows or, is, uh, you know, hung around as much, you know, with us, what you see is what you get. You know, we never, uh, we'll drink a iced tea with you or we'll drink a Jim Beam with you. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, it was, uh, growing up and I, I tell you what he was such a you know great dad and, uh, and a great husband and stuff man and uh, uh you know we miss him every day well we're all gonna miss him today is the day here's to you it is available you need to get out there and grab that and uh, i tell you what eddie we sure do appreciate you spending a little time with us and uh, sharing your heart and sharing your music big fans here in corpus and we sure appreciate you today thank you sir uh thank you sir we appreciate it ma'am